everyone, it's Stephen. And if you've noticed, I have a cool new ring light. Do you see like the circles in my eyes? Are they appearing yet? I hope so. So I was sitting in my room studying last night. I was just in a very video making mood. And then I started thinking about what kind of video I could make. And usually the kind of videos I make are skits. And those take too long to plan and to edit and everything that I could not do it in a day. So I thought of this really great idea. So over on the community tab on YouTube, I asked you guys to send me an obscure musical name. Now you're probably wondering why has Stephen gone insane? Is he planning something that literally 99% of the general population will not care about? Well, probably, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that this video for today is gonna be me guessing the plots of unknown musicals based solely on their title. I got an idea because this usually happens to me. I buy tickets to a show, not knowing what the heck it's about, and then getting like completely hit in the face with what it's actually about. Case in point, Sideshow. I thought it was gonna be like the greatest sh No, it's not, guys. Do not, no. Do not expect it to be like the greatest showman. Or like the last five years. I thought they would get together, guys. I really did. Hopefully, I guessed the plots pretty accurately, but knowing me, I suck at these so it's not gonna come out like at all perfect the ultimate story time this is about a youtuber who ran out of ideas and just decided to sit in front of the camera and like talk about how she felt the burning fires of hell when in fact his starbucks just spilled on him this morning don't you hate clickbait? I hate clickbait. Hades Town. I'm assuming this is the musical that explains like, okay, this is not gonna be funny, but I imagine this to be like, have you guys ever seen Lion King? You know how there's like Lion King 1 and then Lion King 2? And then there was like Lion King 3 or Lion King 1 and a half, depending on where you live. And it was like, like the asides of Lion King 1 where they showed like how Timon and Pumbaa were like living like parallel to the main storyline. Hades Town, I bet, is like that but Hercules and Hades. You figure out that he actually has a town in hell and like he lives there and yes. 10 over 10 would watch guys, especially if it has like really cool songs in it. Drowsy Chaperone. I think this is what happens when Mary Poppins reaches her midlife crisis. Just a guess. Wouldn't you watch that? I would watch that. Out of our heads. I bet this is like Freaky Friday where they swap brains, but instead of just like swapping consciousness, they literally swap brains, get it? Cause it's out of the head. Falsettos. I imagine this to be like, a like cop thriller, okay? Where like these five people try to rob a bank and then they get caught, then they're put in five separate investigation rooms and like they communicate with one another as to how they're gonna structure their testimony by like singing really, really, really high, which is why like their testimony is false, but then you know they're singing falsetto. I don't even know what a falsetto is, I'm just completely guessing. But TBH that would be a really good plot for like a movie, I'm just saying. But why bump off Barbary? What the heck did Barbie do to you? Why do you gotta bump her off like that, man? She's probably a nice person. Is it even a she? Am I assuming gender over here? So I'm guessing this Barbary person was like pretty popular because people wouldn't be asking why she got bumped off if like people hated her. So I bet it's like one of those high school musicals like Mean Girls or Heathers. There's this one like really good girl who just became like a bad girl and people like started hating her. Yeah. Island song. So Moana or Once on This Island song. Twisted. Why is the first thing that popped into my head that Disney Channel original movie? Do you remember that one? There was like twin sisters who were both witches or something and like they didn't know each other existed. How original a plot. But that's the first thing that came into my head. Or it's the musical version of Twister. How are they gonna do that on stage though? Can I just say I don't even know if these titles are right. These are just from your comments. I didn't double check these because I didn't want to get like, I didn't want to accidentally see the plot or something and then it influenced my answer. So there's this one called Holy Musical Batman and I'm really hoping it's a musical about Batman. Oh my god. I would love to hear an I Want song by Batman where he's singing about his parents. Oh my god. And holy musical Bat- Oh my god, does that imply he dies? Because why else would he be holy? Unless he's a priest. Batman as a priest! We could have that. I could totally do that. I could totally see that. Firebringer. Is that even a real thing? Okay, fine. I bet this is about a dragon who befriends a human person. That dragon gives the human person the first fire ever to save his village from the chilling, freezing winter. And then that boy, like, ends up revealing where the dragon lives. And then the villagers try to capture the dragon to get more fire, but then the boy releases the dragon. The boy is sent into jail, but the dragon saves him, and him and the boy live happily ever after. Wow! I'm gonna make that a movie! I, oh my god, I'm such a creative person! Oh my god. Bobo Boy! Okay, just from the title, I bet there's like this. You know, did you see that one movie with like that guy from Jurassic World where there's like this girl who lives in this house and like she can't get out because she's so sick? I bet it's something like that, but I bet this guy literally lives in like a plastic bubble. You know, the ones they have on the beach sometimes where like you see those like people like they like I don't know their dream is probably to be like a hamster so they're like 
in the bar on the beach and stuff like that. I bet it's something like that. How he interacts with daily life, how he dates, considering that he's in a bubble. Or is it about how like technology makes us all live in a bubble and we can't see people from the real world? Love labors lost. I feel like this is a really melodramatic thing based on like a like noontime soap opera. You know, like the kind you find on ABC. And it's about how this guy lost his job and the woman he loves and he's trying to get back all of them while at the same time coping with like his son like not loving him yes i feel like all of these plots are too long for musicals but that is okay bear spelled b-a-r-e definitely not pg i imagine it to be about a bear and now to get back the love of the ones he used to love he has to first learn to love himself and to let himself be bear in front of all the other bears oh that's such a heartwarming story children of eden okay this is some like bible stuff okay so this is gonna be a musical about like what happened to adam and eve like after they got thrown out for being naughty like the regret and stuff and like how they're gonna survive like outside of like the Garden of Eden. TBH, that'd be such a good play or musical or whatever. Like I would totally watch that. Bandstand! I imagine this as like there's like this park and there's a bandstand in the middle that everybody loves. And for some reason, the city council, they want to tear down the bandstand and build a Walmart in its place. And the band members are like, oh hell no, we're not gonna let that happen. So like they organize like concerts there and then they do like that thing where people tie themselves to a tree where they're tying themselves to a bandstand which actually doesn't make sense because if it's an old bandstand then maybe tying themselves to it will actually like break it but that's not the point and then they like sing they're like we shall not be moved and stuff and the city government actually relents and they're all happy and everything there's probably like a love triangle in there somewhere so that is me trying to guess the titles of musicals this has been fun. This is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So before this video ends, I just want to ask if you actually know the plots of any of these musicals, comment down below how right or wrong I was. I want to see if I was right or wrong. And also I'm planning to do more of these kinds of videos because these are actually kind of fun. So if you could comment rare movies, books, TV shows, and make sure you specify if it's a book, movie, or TV show because I might make multiple videos. And you want me to guess the plot. Go ahead, because honestly, I think this is also an exercise in my creativity, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, the click the subscribe button, the like button down there. The suggested videos are to the left and to the right, and somewhere down in the description are my social media stuff. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Till next time, guys. See ya!